السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أهلا وسهلا مرحبا مرحبا How is everyone? I hope everyone is uh, doing well Enjoying yourselves, having good series and iftars uh, So Like I said Ramadan's almost over guys And I love you guys also, also telling me That you're feeling that Ramadan has flown by yeah, It's flown Flew by Not flown by Flew by. Okay, so um, continue what I was saying because uh, today, you know, might be late. Qadr, who knows? Um, so when we went to Masjid Aqsa, now Laylatul Qadr is a very important night. Specifically, the twenty seventh night is very important in Masjid Aqsa for some reason. Although Laylatul Qadr can actually be on any of the last ten. Last 10 nights, it can be on any of the last 10, so 21st night, the 23rd night, 25th night, the 27th night, 29th night, by the odd nights, it can be on any one of those. And this is what the Prophet ﷺ said, but still, um, you know, a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on the 27th. So, Masjid Aqsa, the uh, Palestinians, they put a lot of emphasis on uh, the 27th night as well. I just heard today that, inshallah, they're going to be. Reopening the masjid for the public again, inshallah. Uh, so it's good news that is. Um, so if any of you guys are going, and maybe I'm going to be going maybe in the summer, so you know, hey, well, well done, congratulations, guys. Um, so on the 27th night, the Israeli authorities they give the Palestinians or a lot of them permission to enter the masjid. That's now, so if you don't know. A lot of the Palestinians cannot come to Masjid Aqsa for their entire life. Some of them have never even come to Masjid Aqsa. They can't come. They're, they're banned, basically. They have restrictions depending on who you are and where you live. So they only allow certain types of people to come there. But anyway, on the 27th night, they're open to a lot of people. And you have about the whole Masjid Aqsa complex. Masjid holds about half a million people. So half a million people come on the night of Laid al Qadr, 27th night. And it's Ram packed right from top to bottom, all the places all packed out. So when we were there, we basically had to be very careful when it came to if you need to do wudu, if you need to go to toilet, because if you need to go to toilet or if you need to do wudu, you have to stand in the queue for ages and ages and ages. And if you don't like, you know, standing in queues for toilets, because some of the toilets they're, they're not the best smelling places out there. Um, so, you know, it was packed out and there were so many people there. It was like, and in fact, when we were there, well, we were there twice, but on the first occasion we were there, Laylatul Qadr, it was Laylatul Qadr and it was Juma on the same, same day. So Juma is a day when it's packed out. So the people, right, again, they're allowed, allowed permission to come to so the last Juma as well. And then if the 27th occurs on the last Juma, then it's like really packed out. So it's from uh, Thursday night all the way until Saturday morning. It's like really packed out. So many people there. Um, and so, you know, we had to be very, very careful as well because you hardly had any space. It's like, you know, you had hardly any space to sleep as well. So wherever you'd be sleeping, there'd be like people there. So, um, so yeah, it was very good, very enjoyable. They do like uh, completion of the Quran and they make dua. And then, uh, you know, it's very emotional as well. And there's lots and lots of people there as well. Like I keep saying, lots and lots of people. It's just so many people. And uh, yeah, so food, with regards to food, you have to sort your food out. That's the main thing. Because if you haven't haven't planned your food, then you're going to be stuck. And then, you know, there's going to be lots of people eating there. And you, you can join some people as well, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, so that's basically what happens there on, on Laylat al-Qadr. And um, like I said, in Masjid al-Aqsa, the Palestinians, so the Palestinians, they have their own sort of like customs, cultural kind of things that you might not be used to. So, for example, like families will sit together and then, you know, they have their certain types of uh, traditions, the type of food they eat as well. Uh, so you can join in that as well. All right. So let's see what you guys have written. Okay, Bahar Ahmad is saying it's quite scary. Uh how time is flies just flying normally ramadan is fast but this is just unbelievable that's what saying saying i think it's the fastest ramadan i have experienced yet mashallah 
the plan for after Ramadan, catching up on uh, roots and knowledge of videos. I have fallen behind since finding. Inshallah, I have been like a kid in a sweet shop. Jazakallah khair for all your content. I have benefited so much. Jazakallah khair. Thank you very much. And inshallah, content will hopefully continue until after Ramadan as well. And uh, hopefully, podcasts are going to be continuing as well. We'll make dua for those, inshallah. And I will see you around. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.